and gentlemen, boys and girls, we back with our third gas station pizza review. You guys already know we had to hit racetrack, bro. Fun fact, when I did 7-Eleven, I did not know racetrack had pizza. For some reason, the thought never crossed my mind, but they got this big pizza sign over here flexing their pizza and I got the details from the insides apparently these are brand new fresh so let me show you guys the pie I mean the slice real quick you know it actually don't look too bad you know what I'm saying but these pizzas don't come too too hot so we can just go ahead go for it I don't have to distract you guys or nothing we can just get her done so guys cheers mm. okay 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 This is the most like realistic one I've had so far, kind of. But hmm, that's weird. That it's weird that these gas station pizzas they all taste similar, but they're all very, very different in their own aspects. So like with this pizza, it's not too too doughy, but it's like very, very like flavorless, right? But you like actually taste the pepperoni, which is cool. Like the pepperoni, like actually, like it actually hits on this, on this specific pizza. But I remember with like the previous ones, the pepperoni wouldn't hit, but the sauce would. It's just weird. It's just weird. Let's go for the crust though. Do these videos make you hungry, guys? Comment down below because I'm pretty sure they do. Mm. Same thing with the crust. It's just lacking that flavor, lacking that crisp that like I would really want in a gas station pizza. Um, I'm gonna be honest, it's in the fives. Cumberland is kind of beating them. I'm not gonna lie, but they were very, very nice in there at the end of the day. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna forget that, you know what I'm saying? But we gotta be fair with our reviews, man. We gotta be fair with our reviews. It's very lackluster. I'm gonna go ahead for another bite though before I give the official rating. Yeah, so I don't know, like. You don't really taste the sauce, you don't really taste the cheese, but it's good. So I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a 5-3. I'm gonna give it a 5-3. They could probably redeem themselves with like some other way, bro. I feel bad, but we, we gonna have to give it a 5-3. This might be one of the lowest pizza rating that I've ever had. Honestly, I'm really upset because I thought I thought it was gonna be banging. I thought, I thought it was gonna be banging, but regardless, it was still fire. Now listen, guys. Before I end the video, big announcement. We are trying to meet Dave Portnoy, at Dave Portnoy on the screen. This guy right here, wherever I'm putting him, we're trying to meet this guy ASAP. And um, it, would just be, it would just be a pleasure just to meet him and potentially get a pizza video done with him. But if you guys don't know, that guy, Dave Portnoy, is literally the president of pizza. He inspired me to create this series and I did it in my own way, you know what I'm saying? I try to be original about it, but at the end of the day, Dave Portnoy is the king of pizza. So listen guys, tag Dave, Dave Portnoy, share this video with, with Portnoy at the end. Like I'm putting his ad on the screen. Thank you all so much for supporting these videos. I'm out, deuces.